Here. Welcome home, smiley face Gordo. It's not often you see Jason Bateman's name associated with a thriller, but that's what we've got here with The Gift. This is written, produced, directed, and starring Joel Edgerton and the other male lead. Yeah, he really made a baby for himself. <laughs> and Rebecca Hall is in there. Oh, I... What'd you think of this movie? Let's just be honest. When he sat down, I'm like, wait, what are we seeing again? What, see? what day is what this? What day is it? Wh what are we what seeing? Year? Okay, great. And then as the movie started, I'm like, oh no, is this a scary movie? Because that's how, <laughs> that's how everything is happening here. It's very slow. The camera motion is very slow. And you know that something might come out or pop out at you at certain points. Gordo, hi. Uh, it's a Blumhouse then, tradition. This yeah. is the Blumhouse a studio that has produced this thing. And they've been doing horror movies. They did The Purge. They've been doing these kind of schlocky B-movie jump scare type money. movies. Yeah, and they've been doing all right. Right, so they've added that formula here. Mm -hmm. And the thing is with this movie is that it does have those thriller moments for sure, but it takes such a long time to get to those moments. This is a very slow burn. Yeah. You're spending a lot of time with this couple, so Jason Bateman and Rebecca Hall play a couple in this movie, and their relationship seems a little off, mm -hmm. and you're trying to uncover that, you're trying to discover, basically with the wife, what the deal why is so with sad. her husband, yeah. and why she's so sad, and you're just kind of piecing that together, and, and the acting here is phenomenal. Like, you, you do want to, you want to buy the story because yeah. they're so great. Gordo? Did he just leave us here? That's true. I mean, I, I did feel that it's kind of like a three-hander. There are, you know, supporting characters and things like that in here. But most of the movie, we're spending time with Jason Bateman and Rebecca Hall, or, you know, every once in a while, Joel Edgerton's character pops in in here. And the thing would fall apart if Jason Bateman and Rebecca Hall's performances weren't mm. so on point. They're they really, really, really fascinating. They feel truthful. They feel yeah. committed. And Bateman, you know, who we traditionally kind of see as this comedic foil, he's usually kind of a straight guy. We don't really get to see him in this particular light, and he goes to some pretty dark places in this movie. He does. And I thought he did a tremendous job. He does. Well, the thing about Jason Bateman is that he can really play an a yeah. and you buy it. Look, I don't want to spoil too much of this movie, because uh, you uncover a lot of things about Jason yeah. Bateman's character as you move through, so I don't want to spoil too much. But I did see a bit of his character that uh, he played in Bad Words. He does this it's really well. Yeah. Like he's he's almost so good that I wonder if he's really like this in real life. Like well, that's, how, that's how good he is. Really? Yeah. Same grade? Yeah. What year did you graduate? Hey, honey. Excuse me, one second. Oh, there is not one character out of this threesome here that actually fits into some kind of stereotype or some kind mm. of hole. Because you are often dancing back and forth between do you like this person, do you not like this person? Right. And that's why I was always involved. That's why I always wanted to keep watching and find out what happens next because I was so intrigued to know where I would end at the end of this movie with these characters. Who would I love? Who would I hate? Right. And I honestly, I'm walking away with still with questions. Yeah. And I don't want to spoil too much, but I think that's a good thing. It's a good thing to the movie because you never really expect what's going to happen next. And though it, it's not it's not one of those things that's like out of reach, I feel like it's also a story that we can all kind of relate to. It's very human yeah. and it's very accessible and mm -hmm. I think that there's lots of hooks in there for people to understand. I mean, yeah. basically the big message is don't be a bully, you know, and, and be careful what your actions reap. I like how that story unfolded, yeah. and I liked hanging with these characters, even as broken and fractured yeah. and psychologically scarred as they were. I thought, as portrayed by these three actors, this was actually a pretty good time. It yeah. does drag. I said at one point, like, how many days have we been here with these people? I know, it's getting a little awkward. <laughs> I feel like we've overstayed our welcome. Because it's it almost is invasive, right? Like, yeah, we're yeah. eavesdropping on a lot of real private conversations, and I think that is kind of remarkable, especially from this Formula studio. I guess I didn't expect all that much. Why was Simon running a background check without telling me? Robin, why don't you just ask him? Kind of reminds me a little bit of One Hour Photo. Yeah. It just has this gets weird. Under your skin, yeah. It gets in your skin. It has this weird tone to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not something that I would watch again, but it's definitely something that I think people should see. I think it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna give the gift? It gets a seven. It gets a seven and a half for me. Ooh. EP's movie coverage is brought to you by Nintendo, makers of Splatoon for the Wii U.